Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing introduction part of permutations and combinations. Uh, let's see the uh, continuation of last session. That's see, uh, that is, uh, see in the last session, I have explained about what is permutation and what is combination. And uh, here in permutation order is very important. Uh, whereas coming to selection, uh, I already explained what is uh, combination. Combination means it is a selection, right? Whenever if you want to select something, you have to use combination. If you want to arrange something, you need to use uh, permutation, right? Now, here let me explain few important points regarding uh, permutations. Here, first of all, uh, there are two types of permutations. One is linear. One is linear permutation. And the second one is uh, circular. One is linear arrangement and uh, second one is uh, circular arrangement. Linear and circular. First, I will explain about uh, linear. After that, I will explain about circular. First, linear arrangement. In this linear arrangement, uh, when we are, suppose for example, if there are n members or else n persons or n objects, whatever it is, if there are n objects, if you want to arrange all n objects, if you want to arrange all n objects, uh, then it can be possible in n p n ways. It can be possible in how many ways? n p n ways. Here, total n members are there and I want to arrange all n members. Suppose for example, one small example, if you take, uh, let us take there are four chairs. If I want to arrange four persons in these four chairs, uh, I can uh, able to arrange them in 4p4 ways. 4p4 is equal to 4 factorial. npn is equal to n factorial. Both are same. n factorial and npn both are same. In the similar case, total n chairs are there. If I want to arrange uh, uh, total n members, if I want to arrange only few, or objects out of them, then we can arrange them n p r ways. n p r ways. Here the value of r is either less than or equal to n. Value of r is either less than or else equal to n. It should not be greater than n. This is another point. Second point. All these are very important while uh, solving the problems. These are very helpful while calculation. Okay. Next, uh, this is the these are the formulas for without repetition condition. Here there are two conditions. One is with repetition and second one is uh, without repetition. Okay. This is without repetition condition. And uh, next one is with repetition condition with repetition it means repetition of letters are allowed repetition of letters are allowed in that case uh, if there are n letters and if you want to arrange all n then the number of ways are n power n the number of ways are n power n this is for with repetition Without repetition, that is n p n, but with repetition, that is n power n. Similarly, if there are n letters, if you want to arrange r out of them, then it is possible in a n power r base. n power r base. Is it clear? Here, all these are permutations. We are not discussing about combinations. All these are permutations only. With repetition, this is n power n with a, a uh, this is n power r without repetition n p n and n p r. These are the things you need to remember. And uh, all these are about uh, linear arrangement. All these are about linear arrangement. Now I will explain about the concept of uh, circular arrangement. Circular arrangement. For circular arrangement, here the number of ways, uh, suppose if I want to arrange uh, n members, if I want to arrange n members, uh, then it should be 
n minus 1 factorial base. It should be n minus 1 factorial base. Why? Because the reason is, I will take one small example. Here, this is this is order A, B, C, D. For example, if I move each and every person one step forward, then it becomes A, B, C and D. If you observe carefully, here this is A. A left hand side is always B. Here also initially B only. After that, B left hand side C. Here also same thing, B left hand side C. C left hand side D. Here also same thing, C left hand side D. Here the order is same in each and every case. But according to permutation, order must be different when we are arranging something. When the order is different, that is the reason why what I will do is, first I will fix one position. Let us take, uh, this is the position which I fixed. And remaining positions I will uh, move forward. Suppose initially this is uh, B and uh, this is D and this is C. Right? I am fixing this position. Right? This D comes to this place and uh, this B goes to this place and C comes to this place. Now the order is different. A, D, B, C. Previously the order is A, B, C, D. Now the order is uh, A, D, B, C. Here, when the order is different, uh, when we are fixing one position, when we are fixing one position and the remaining three positions are different, uh, remaining three positions can be arranged in three factorial ways, but here total four members are there and I am arranging four members in only three factorial in circular arrangement. Uh, but whereas uh, coming to linear arrangement, it is 4 factorial. But in circular arrangement, it is only 3 factorial. That is the reason why if we if we are arranging n members in a circle, then it is possible in n minus 1 factorial by n minus 1 factorial ways. This is in case that there is a difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. If there is a difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. Sometimes uh, there is no difference between uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. If there is no difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise, what I have to do? If there is no difference, then what I have to do is uh, I can arrange them n minus 1 factorial by 2. This is the case of uh, stones in a necklace, stones or else uh, flowers in a garland, flowers in a garland. These are the examples for this uh, uh, no difference between clockwise and anticlockwise. If you see any necklace, uh, clockwise and anticlockwise both are stones only. But whereas uh, coming to this first case, in this case the example is uh, Persons. Persons are entirely different when you are seeing from a clockwise and anti-clockwise direction. That is the reason why here in circular arrangement uh, we have two conditions. One is uh, if there is no difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise direction your answer is uh, n minus 1 factorial by 2. But if there is a difference between clockwise and anti-clockwise uh, that is n minus 1 factorial. In this way, you can arrange uh, all the persons or else uh, any kind of uh, objects uh, in a circular manner. This is about uh, permutations. Uh, permutations we have discussed linear as well as uh, circular. Now I will explain about the combinations. Uh, here the combinations were uh, total if there are n members. Uh, if I want to select all n members, uh, if I want to select all N members that is possible in N C N ways. That is possible in N C N ways. Here in combinations, uh, there is no condition of uh, with repetition and without repetition. It is about only selection. N C N the value of N C N is uh, one only. Value of N C N is equal to one. 
similarly n c naught is equal to 1 n c n is equal to 1 n c naught is equal to 1 and uh, one more thing if i want to select only few members out of n in that case uh, that is n c r that is n c r either n c n or else n c r now i will tell you the formulas of uh, n c r and uh, n p r that is very important n p r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial whereas coming to n c r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial that is the difference between uh, n p r and n c r suppose uh, if i want to write the relation between n p r and n c r n p r is equal to n c r into r factorial n p r is equal to n c r into r factorial that will gives to the value of n p r and uh, n c r this is a relation this is the relation between n p r and n c r and a uh, few more important points uh, in this uh, permutations and combinations once it is done i will uh, go with the problems in the next session okay see here here next point is if if n c r is equal to n c s if n c r is equal to n c s then we have few conditions that is either r is equal to s or else n is equal to r plus s or else n is equal to r plus s based on our requirement given in the problem we can choose either first one or else uh, second one that is uh, up to uh, up to the problem okay and next uh, one more point uh, here uh, let us suppose that if there are n objects if there are n objects if i want to select at least one object out of uh, n out of n at least one object at least one in the sense at least one at least one in the sense minimum one minimum one and maximum n that is possible if i take only one selection of one out of n n c1 if i take uh, two n c2 if i take three n c3 like that i can take up to n n c n after that you have to add all the possible cases you have to add all the possible cases which is equal to 2 power n minus 1 2 power n minus 1 why because uh, in according to permutation combination we know that n c naught plus n c 1 plus n c 2 plus and so on plus n c n which is equal to 2 power n see here this n c naught will comes to left side that will become minus 1 okay one more point n c r is equal to n c n minus r n c r is equal to n c n minus r sometimes it is not easy to calculate this value n c r in that case you can go with uh, n c n minus r both are same why because uh, here let us take a small example 5 p oh, sorry 5 c 3 is equal to 5 c 2 both the values are same both the values are same if you calculate uh, these two values you will get the same result uh, here 5 c 3 which is nothing but 5 into 4 into 3 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 here it is 3 3 gets cancelled 2 1 sir 2 2 sir 5 2 sir 10 Whereas coming to 5c2, which is equal to 5 into 4 divided by 2 into 1. Here it is uh, 2 times 5 to so 10. Here also we got the same result. So ncr is equal to nc n minus r. These are the few important formulas uh, that are there in uh, permutations and combinations. Uh, if at all uh, we miss any of the formulas left over in this, uh, when we are coming to the problems, uh, We'll discuss those things. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.